Have you been considering selling your home or any other type of real estate? Hi, I'm Wes Brooks, Associate Broker with Remax Encore. I'd like to welcome you to my real estate marketing and sales presentation designed to answer the most commonly asked questions about selling real estate. This presentation will take just a few minutes, but well worth your time. So let's get started. First, many ask, what's really in it for the seller? Don't all realtors simply put the property on some type of website or the MLS and wait for a buyer? Not at all. While it may be true that many agents are falling behind in the areas of technology, marketing skills, and marketing tools, I work to stay on top of the ever-changing market with state-of-the-art marketing tools, techniques, and negotiating methods. Utilizing state-of-the-art aerial images to display a complete understanding of the property and show the actual footprint of the home in relationship to its surroundings. This allows us information that cannot be displayed in any other way. I also use professional jib cranes, slide rails, and other video motion control tools to create a pleasing and professional expression of each property in order to market and expose properties to buyers with true online videos and in-home DVDs left for buyers to take during showings. These videos express the best elements of each property. Of course, many agents, including myself, utilize photograph slideshows, commonly known as virtual tours. These tours are automatically generated by Remax for our use on our listings. However, the videos that I supply go well beyond the virtual tour slideshows. These are truly professional videos marketed online as well as burned on the DVDs supplied as gifts to potential buyers that visit my property listings. These DVDs help buyers remember the details of their showing and separate the, my listings from any other property they may have just recently seen. Each of my home listings also have a personalized QR code and website dedicated solely for each individual property. These QR codes will activate on any smartphone with a free QR code app and will take the buyers directly to the personalized property website. Each property is also marketed on over 1,500 additional websites with links from the MLS, as well as our own corporate website, our office website, and on each of my own personalized websites. BrooksSellsHomes.com and FindingNewNeighbors.com. You may ask, how do we get started? Well, we start with a CMA. A CMA is a comparable market analysis. This is the process of calculating the most accurate and reasonable price to market a home based on the statistical data found by a study of the current market trend of similar homes and properties. Your CMA will be specifically designed for your property. Pricing the property correctly can make the difference between either selling or staying. We will review the CMA data together and arrive at a reasonable marketing price together. I will not attempt to dictate your marketing price. However, I will counsel you through the process. Keep it in mind that pricing too low will cost the seller true cash in their pocket and pricing too high will offer the seller additional birthdays in their home with many long days on market. Typically, the longer a home is on the market, the lower the offers become. Pricing correctly is critical. Once a price is determined, and listing documents are completed, the marketing process begins. With some properties, we may need to start by staging the property for the best overall appeal. First impressions can mean a lot. Professional photographs are then taken and we place the property on the multi-listing service, also known as the MLS. This is followed by the designing and creation of the personalized website, highlight sheets, QR code and the filming of the professional video to be marketed on YouTube, social media marketing sites, the MLS, and burned onto professional DVDs to be left in the home. As I'm working to get the marketing process moving forward in my unique ways, Remax Encore and Remax Corporate will be generating additional marketing tools and virtual tours. Once a property is listed on the MLS, interested buyers will either contact their current agent or our office to speak with one of our agents, or they may contact me directly in order to request a showing. 
These buyers and agents should never contact the seller directly. Your contact information is kept secure and confidential. Each showing is scheduled through our office and each call to you will come directly from our staff specifically coordinating each showing. During this process, I also work diligently to receive feedback from agents after they show your home, which I then share with you. As offers are presented from the buyer's agent to me, I then present the offer to you, the seller. Each paragraph of the offer will be discussed and understood prior to any acceptance or possibly a counteroffer will be created. Offers are not only about the money being offered, but may also include other additional critical elements, such as the terms and conditions. A buyer may also attempt to negotiate personal items, known as chattel, into the offer. As long as it's acceptable by both parties, anything can be negotiated. Of course, all personal items will require a bill of sale separating the mortgageable real estate from the personal property. Nearly all offers are subject to EMD fees, also known as earnest money deposits or good faith deposits. These EMDs can be anywhere from $500 to 1% or even 10% of the purchase price, mostly depending on the type of mortgage that is being suggested in the offer, such as an FHA, conventional, rural development, or perhaps even a cash offer. If a special condition cannot be met by either the buyer or the seller, such as a failure during the home inspection or an appraisal issue, the EMD is then refunded. The EMD is only forfeited by the buyer if all issues or special conditions have been met or are able to be met and the buyer simply changes their mind in purchasing the property or fails to follow the terms and conditions as defined in the purchase agreement. Many mortgage companies may suggest for a buyer to request a seller concession to offset or meet a special issue with the financing process. Understanding the bottom line of this request is critical to any seller. With a seller concession, the actual offer price becomes the offer price minus the seller concession amount. Seller concessions may be found in any offer. However, they are extremely rare and considered as pointless in cash offers. Most offers with a seller concession are with buyers that need the concession to qualify for their mortgage program, offer price, or their interest rate. This does not mean that they're a bad buyer. It just indicates that the loan program that they're utilizing may require it for this specific transaction. Home inspections are expected in most home purchases. Concerns found by a home buyer during the home inspection can result in the need to renegotiate the entire purchase contract. Typically, if there is an inspection issue, the seller has four options. The first option is the seller can simply repair the issue, the problem is solved, and we move forward with the sale. Or, number two, the selling price can be renegotiated to offset the issue. That's the most common. Number three, this is the least used and can rarely apply. Perhaps repair funds can be placed in escrow to make the repairs after the closing. That is if the mortgage program being applied to the transaction will allow an escrow for such repairs. Many loan programs will not allow escrows for repairs to be performed after the closing. This option is most often used with cash offers. Or number four, if all else fails, the contract is nullified with a mutual release addendum, which is then signed by all parties, the EMD is refunded to the buyer and the home is placed back on the market in search for a new buyer. If this last option is utilized, it is often suggested to the seller to repair the issues from the home inspection before a new buyer finds the same issue later and the process fails once again. As with home inspections, appraisals can also raise a new concern. Prior to an underwriter accepting the obligation of risk on a mortgage, the appraiser must provide supporting data to show justifiable cause or value to the property as collateral. If the support data does not confirm the purchase price value, potential loss of the transaction will occur unless some level of renegotiation is accepted by all parties. The average timeline from the time of the accepted offer to the closing is typically 45 to 60 days. However, some transactions may end up requiring an extension, sometimes more than one. 
Federal lending regulations may also delay the closing process. Practicing both due diligence and patience is critical throughout the entire process by all parties. Once the transaction closes, the buyer now owns the home and is entitled to collect rent until the occupancy is granted by the seller. The buyer becomes the owner and the seller becomes a tenant. Yes, I did mention rent. Many ask, how much is the rent? Well, this payment is typically referred to as a PITI value or a per diem value. This relates to the buyer's daily cost of owning the home. It's a prorated value based on the buyer's monthly payment of their new principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, divided by 30, resulting in the daily rate. This calculation has no bearing on what the seller's old payment was, and for cash offers, it can simply be just an estimate based on the typical mortgage value. In conclusion, I first hope that this presentation was helpful in the understanding of the real estate marketing and sales process. Please keep in mind that by working with myself, associate broker Wes Brooks with Remax Encore, you will have a team of experienced professionals working diligently on the marketing, negotiating, and the closing of the sale of your home and property. I also participate in donating a portion of each of my transactions to Beaumont's Children's Hospital, which benefits children and their families with the special care that they may need. May I suggest that you visit my YouTube network, Finding New Neighbors, for more videos on real estate and to view samples of my real estate property marketing videos. I'm sure you'll find that my marketing tools offer sellers greater exposure to more buyers in a more professional manner than any other realtor in your area. And look for my books on new construction as well as real estate from Author House Publishing or at any of the many online book outlets including Amazon.com or at your local neighborhood bookstore. Thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon. So let's get started at Finding New Neighbors.